get started, I have a client script, angle entry point called as save record, and also user event script, angle entry point called as before submit. We all know client script get executed on our client side, user event script get executed on our server side. So when we talk about before submit entry point in user event script, we have the script context as an argument, which has access to our latest record or the new record, and also the old record. And it also provide access to a property called as type, tell us whether it is in create, edit, copy, or something like that. And when it comes to line script save record entry point, we also have the script context as an argument, but we just have access to current record. It does not have a property called as type where it provides you an option to find out whether it is create, edit, or copy something like that. But when it comes to page init entry point in client script, it has an option to figure out whether it is create, edit. Let's say if you want to add some kind of condition in save record based on that mode or type, so we can make use of page init by adding the script context.mode where we have to declare a variable called type, let's say, as a global variable. And then we can make use of this variable inside our page init function and we can assign the value of script context.mode. And then we can make use of this type value inside our save record since it is a global variable. And we all know the save record is used for validation purpose. And in the same way, before submit can also be used for validation purpose. So now when we talk about save record entry point code, which we have here, it's very straightforward. We are just trying to get the line count of sublist called as an item. And if the line count is more than or equal to two, we are allowing the user to save this record. And if the line count is less than two, we are not allowing the user to save this particular record. When I say record, let's say we deploy this particular script on a sales order. It means the sales order record. So in the same way, I have a code in before submit where I am trying to get the line count of sublist ID called as item from the sales order record. And here I have a condition which says line count should be more than three. So if the line count is more than three, which is all good, you need to worry about anything. So validation is fine. But if the line count is less than three, we are not allowing the user to commit this data. So I have uploaded my client script to my NetSuite account. And this is the script record for that. And this has been deployed on a sales order record. The same way I have uploaded my user event script as well. And this also has been deployed on sales order record. So to test this, I'm going to navigate to transactions, sales and then click on enter sales order. So now I have filled out my customer value on the sales order record. And also I have added a single line. They have clearly mentioned that they are trying to make sure the line count should be more than or equal to two. In this case, we have just added only one line item. So now let's try to save this record. Now I can clearly see I'm getting an alert message which says the line count should be greater than or equal to two. And if I click OK, it still stays on the same page where I have entered all the data like customer value and the item level values and everything. And it will not allow me or proceed further without entering two lines. So what happened in this case? So since we had our client script save record entry point on our client side, the moment we click the save button, the save record entry point on client script get triggered and it had found the line count as one and it stopped us with an alert message and it has written false, which means the client script got executed on the client side. It did not send the request to server side because it had just only one line. So hence it stayed in the client side. Now on the same sales order, I have just added three line items now for this sublist. So in this case, the client script save record will successfully pass the validation. So let's click save on this. So this time we did not get any alert message or a pop-up, but this time we are getting a notice saying line code must be greater than three. And if you clearly notice, this is not even a pop-up. So in this case, once we click save record, since we had three lines, so there was no issue in our save record entry point, which was all good. And it has successfully sent the request to our server side or NetSuite application server to commit this data to our database. Since we had our before submit script on our server side, which is performing some validation, where the validation is the line count must be greater than three. And now if you clearly notice, it has not even committed this data to our database and we are still stuck with the same page. Now, if I just click go back and if you clearly notice at this point, when I'm trying to create a sales order, it has just removed all the data which I entered on this create mode, the sales order record where it has removed the customer value and also it has removed all the lines which I have entered so far. So I'm going to select the customer one more time and I'm going to add all the line items. Let's say more than three line items, which is four line items and let's click save on that. So I have entered my customer value and also I have provided line items with more than three line items, which is right now I have four line items in this. So now let's click save on this. Now I can clearly see the sales order has been successfully saved, which means it has passed both the validations from client script save record and also our user event before submit entry point. So in this case, once we click save button on the sales order record, client script save record entry point have been triggered 
and it has validated that line count is more than or equal to two, so which is all good. So then it sends the data to our NetSuite application server where we have the before submit. Here, the before submit has successfully validated that the line count is more than three, which is all good. So then it allowed the data to commit to the database. After committing to the our database, it has responded back with the view mode page of the sales order record back to our client side. The takeaway from this uh, video is the client script get executed only on your NetSuite UI side. Or if you try to create any sales order record using your CSV or maybe integration, your client script will not get executed, but your user event script will get executed when you try to create any sales order record using your UI or some integrations or some server-side script, except user event script again. So in that case, your user event script get triggered.